this is um, day eight of the strength challenge on the rebounder. So I get in here and get that going. I'm gonna step up here and we're gonna start with that left foot back. We're gonna warm up. March. Is that squatting? Like you're walking. Ten more. Now I'm going to step one foot forward, right one back. So I'm going to do a little squat. Here we go. Opposite arm, opposite leg. This is still strength. That little squat going. All right, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now, I'm gonna come here. We've done, we've done this move where I'm gonna do it a little bit different of coming forward and around as that right foot is forward, I'm gonna come down here and bring my arms around. Palms up. Lost my balance. more. Hold it. Now we're just going to switch feet. And left foot forward. And if your rebound is not as big, um, you're going to come in a little bit here, but you're not going to be able to lunge as deeply as if you have the, the bigger one. So remember, we're going to come around here. Here we go. <clears throat> I look forward. more to the side. So I'm trying to catch my balance. That's where you're going to work your core. We do a few core moves today too. So I come down, concentrate. The softer the mat is, the harder, the harder this will be. Okay. 
we're gonna do, just so we can change it up a little bit. I come down onto my right knee, bring my left knee down. I'm gonna put the weights down. And we're gonna work on teaching you how to do a plank over the edge. Now, if you don't have a bigger rebounder, you're going to have to put your feet on the rim <clears throat> or if you're top. I have my hands here and so I have the balls of my feet on my mat because I have a 49 inch bellicon. If I had a 44 inch, I would definitely have to put my feet here because you're going to come into a plank. What I mean over the edge is you're gonna hang over the edge. So I'm right here and we're gonna start on our knees and then bring it up. I come forward. I'm going to do 10 like this. I want you to feel like you're hanging over the edge, <clears throat> like a cliff. Okay. Now, this is where I push the bungees aside and I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna get into a 30 second plank. Um, and a plank does not have your booty up in the air. Just saying. So when I do that, I come all the way over. I'm gonna come up. Ten seconds. I'm gonna come down. Okay, now I'm down. So I'm just gonna come forward on my knees and I'm gonna put my right foot on the floor like this. And we're going to just use the three pounds here. Okay, it's gonna be like a hmm, one like a deadlift. So I put the ball of my foot into the mat on the back. And actually we're just gonna come up first. Now if you have a, a shorter rebounder, that'll make it harder. So I come up and down. This is pretty simple. Make it harder though. Four more. Okay, so I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna lean forward. And what that's gonna do is put weight right on that right butt cheek. I'm gonna come forward here and um, take my knee this way. And we're gonna come out. Just to work your booty a little bit more. Forward lunging glutless. Two more. Now I come up. Now, take that right leg off and keep getting these notices. All right. Now, left foot here. And then you come up. Remember the ball of your foot on that right. We're just going to, I'm just going to come up and down, but I'm going to add to it. I'm going to go in the corners.
Okay. Well, this is where you're going to lean forward. I want to put that weight here. And instead of coming over like we did last time, I want to lean forward like this. And I'm going to alternate. <clears throat> Working that booty up on the left. <clears throat> we'll do five more on each side. I definitely felt that in my booty booty. Okay, I'm gonna put these to the side here. And we're going to actually use one. And I do prefer um, having my hands on the rim. Some people prefer them flat. I like to have my wrist kind of down like that. So um, we're going to do a few planks like this <clears throat> and I am going to pick up the weight, but not right away. So I'm going to hold on to the rim and you can have your hands down. We're going to hold that. It's a little bit easier being on an incline. So I'm just going to pick up the left knee and bring it in. <clears throat> Five more. Okay, I'm going to come back. Booty back and up. A little stretch here. Now I'm gonna come back down. Make sure that butt's not up. And <clears throat> have a, a plank. Now you can have your feet wider. That makes it um, less challenging. And I'm gonna do it on my left. You're right. instead of the three. So let's get that grabbed and I'm gonna have it right here. Have my booty up now. All right. We're gonna hold this <clears throat> and I'm gonna get this hand in a little bit closer. I'm there. That's perfect for me. Okay. And then I'm gonna pick the weight up in my left and bring it rear doubt flies. Put it down. I'm definitely starting to sweat. <laughs> That will give you a little break. Okay, we're gonna come down. We only have five minutes left. So make sure your hand feels comfortable or you can have it on the mat. And I'm gonna come down here.
Two more. Put it down. Come back. Now let's walk forward. Do a little squat here. This is going to be more of a core class, which uh, who doesn't like to work on their core? I do. Um, so <clears throat> use a little heavier weight and we're going to come up and we're just going to do circles with the arms and I'll have a little side view and your legs going in the same direction. So all I do, I come back, it feels so good on, on the rebounder. Better than sitting on the floor by far. So I come up here. <clears throat> We're pushing them away, coming together and going away. Arms forward. So we came around like that. Now I'm going to do it the opposite. And so I'm going to come up, legs apart, I'm going to bring them in and around. <clears throat> so you get ready here, like this, bring them up. <clears throat> Halfway there. That was it for that. And <clears throat> we have a couple more minutes. So I'm gonna do one more thing with that. And um, the bump pose is pretty hard. It's um, <clears throat> quite challenging. I know a lot of people in my classes can't do it very well. Um, they try, you can keep one foot down. It doesn't matter. You go at your level. So I'm going to come back here like this. Try to get up the leg. <clears throat> Push it forward. <clears throat> Kick it up. We're almost there. A little bit of legs. A little bit of everything today. Mostly core. <clears throat> I haven't done a lot of core in these, so I need to get more core in. We're gonna do eight more on each side. Three more. But we're gonna hold it. One. I want you to hold this up, if you can. Bring them kind of back. Four more. now and I want to make sure Oof. you get a 20. Now what you're going to do here is you're going to have <clears throat> the left hand on. Now I pull, I'm going to tuck and as I tuck I'm going to lift up my right arm and I'm going to come around in a circle.
One more, hold it over, and then come the opposite way. <clears throat> the other side will be done. Hold it over. Oh yeah. Right, this side, I always push the bungees aside. So I do a tuck here, pull that right, and then come around one way. <clears throat> around the opposite way. Come over. Hands back, chest out. Oh, we're done with day nine. Um, you get a little variety of everything. It's just 20 minutes. Um, some days will be harder than others. And um, I just want you to keep plugging away at these workouts and strength by far is my favorite, even though I, I think bouncing is my favorite too, but I really love the strength part of it. And since I'm finished, whoop, I say I'm finished and I'll see you on the next video and have a good day.